do you want to group your controls in an orderly manner or you do want to mix up your controls and improve your user interface well that is the purpose of the group box welcome guys and today we're going to talk about the group box so let's drag and drop here what is a group box well it's, sim it's simply a control that allows you to nest other controls inside it which become its child so you can group controls within a group box but why is it important really to nest controls in an orderly way and use this group box can't you just lay out other controls on the same page on the same form why do we need it well we are going to show and demonstrate this by an example let's find a radio button so we have a radio button there and let's uh, drag and drop several buttons right so let's align them right and let's align them there we have it so we're going to run the application so before we do that let me explain to you the purpose why we have done this suppose we want the user to select only an option from here and here let's 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 take a label and show you guys what I mean right let's go to the text here select just one option let's change the four color to maybe a shade of gray right or blue I'm sure by now you know that I love blue select just one option and let's come here we write the same thing select just one option so we have two we have two option groups right there let's run the application and see I'm sh I think this is the best way we can demonstrate why group boxes are important because you may come up with this uh, you may come up with this scenario select just one option okay the user decides to f select the first option and then it goes to here an another section select one option okay I'll select option two wait a minute option one on the first category was selected but now it's deselected let me reselect it again wait a minute what's happening oh I cannot select one option from the first category and one option from the second category wow what is happening well when we use controls like the radio button in a group by default they allow you to select only one of its kind because only one control of this kind radio button is selectable in a group so if you are presented with this challenge it can be difficult for you you may need to create some custom code lengthy code for a logic just to simply allow a user to select one option from the first category and the second category some people can choose to use a panel but a group box is a very good control which represents this scenario so let's say we have two group boxes here we're going to we're going to find another group box we're going to find another group box here and drag and drop it here right let's remove unnecessary controls and let's align this let's take first option put it here and let's take the second option put it here and let's 
take our box to the top select just one option let's copy the text and let's remove these controls here we don't need these labels let's change the text here let's change the text here let's delete these we can change the border color to white and as you can see here we can also change the the custom border color we can change the fill color but I think let's run our project now and see what we get we'd like to see if it's possible now for your user to select one option only from each category something that you saw earlier um, it was impossible really on the same pan on the same uh, form which was the same parent but now as you can see your user can can select one option from each category that is the purpose of the group box it allows you to group your controls in the same parent so what's happening here well these two check boxes to the first category now take this first group box as their parent and these uh, check boxes sorry red your buttons I'm confusing radio buttons the check boxes sorry <laughs> this check the, this radio button sorry to the in, in the first category to your left and the group of radio buttons to the second category to your right they have different parents so basically here the group boxes too belong to the same parent which is the form but their children which are these radio buttons have different parents this allows you to group your controls in an orderly manner especially if you are dealing with controls that work in a group and allows you to select one of its kind we have such functionality as well in our guna button here we have talked about this if you come here to the button style or mode by default it's a default button but it can be a radio button which means if you have several guna buttons or set to radio buttons you can only select one button because they will behave as a radio button so in these circumstances this is the best control to use some may choose to use a panel it will work but a panel you may need to put some additional ui for example here for the title and here for the text and you may need to do some customizations but this allows you out of the box to have those customizations easily at your disposal so when you are working with radio buttons or a guna button that is a type radio button this group panel or the group control is the best it allows you to change uh, the behavior of the controls in a group because now they have different parents if you look here the background is white but it can be changed to any other color and we can revert back to white we can also change the alignment of the text here as you can see it's uh, aligned to the right center or the default left we can change the transform to uppercase normal or lowercase we can also change the border radius let's change this to five and now you can see there are some curves right there let's change the border thickness to one and the border color let's change it to black now you can see right there so these are some of the customizations that you can put of course you can put the custom border its thickness and so forth if we change this thickness to zero and the left thickness here we can change it to five now you can see here 
the thickness it has, has been uh, adjusted to the left because this is a custom border so you can say well around the border I just want um, to have the same thickness now this becomes a very unique and beautiful control let's change this from 5 to 3 or we can change this to 2 now this is what we have let's revert back to 3 right now this is a group box just like this but we have applied our custom theming right so I invite you please guys to go ahead and try to use this group box it's very important if you're working with uh, controls that function in a group like the radio button or the gradient button of type uh, radio button or the generic default button of type radio button as long as they work in a group if they are on the same parent well it will work if you only require one selection but if they're on the same parent and require two different selections this is the best way to do it it will avoid confusion it will also take the burden off your shoulders of creating the panel docking it to the four to the top and making necessary customizations you can just use a group box thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the